let's go ahead and get started and I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing. We're going to be working with the new What's Cooking and this is a photo play collection. You get 12 sheets of 12 by 12 double sided designer cardstock and then one sheet of designer cardstock stickers which are adorable and also they sent me some stamps and some already made a recipe cards what I love that idea okay so and I'm going to show you those in just a couple minutes but they also sent me the etched dies okay and you have this cute little rooster an apron an apple a spatula and a spoon and some little flowers and some nuts so so cute and then this is my absolute fave so you get a stamp um, that is a recipe card stamp. I mean, now I don't have to print them out anymore. So that is really, really awesome. As you can tell, it's dark because I've used it, okay? <laughs> and then um, here are the stickers that go with the die cut. So cute. So you have two baked with love. I love this little stamp right here with the little jar that holds your spatula and um, eater and so cute. Um, love the rooster and the apron is too stinking cute. So let me show you what we're going to make. And this is actually going to be pretty easy. And we're going to try to get this done as much as possible today. We don't want to be on here forever, but in case we are not able to finish, um, we will finish actually creating the album and we will start covering it with the card stock. But if I'm unable to finish, I will continue on and have this uploaded on our YouTube channel for photo play. Okay. So definitely check that out. And then I will be posting that link later when it's up there. I know, right? That the stamps are too sticky cute. I just love them, Monica. Um, so this is a little folio that we are going to make. And let me get to the measurements here. It's kind of a mini album slash folio. I don't know what you want to call it. But you could call it either one. And the measurements are eight and a half by six and a half. And of course, my lawn guys all morning. Now, as soon as I go live, they come over by my house. Isn't that crazy? And then one and a, <laughs> one and a half inch fine. Okay. And I just love, I used a mixture of the cards. So this is actually a recipe card, but I loved how this looked on the front. Happiness is homemade. I used some of the stickers from the collection. And really, really love this. So stinking cute on the back. I put made with love. This is so easy to do. I did this in just a, a couple of hours, okay? So you're going to have a large pocket right here. And this is going to be for your larger recipes or the ones that you cut out of magazines. And then you also have this one. Now, I will say that I did change my measurements um, on these particular uh, pockets right here. Actually, these pages are larger. So don't be fooled by this, okay? You're gonna see in just a few minutes when we're done. But anyway, so you have plenty of room to fit um, recipe cards and most likely you could fit around 111 of them. And that's not including the ones that you can add to the pages, okay? Um, I did not use magnets, but if you want to, you can. I just used paper clips. So I love this recipe card too because it's um, vertical instead of horizontal. So right here, you have your areas where you could either put recipe cards or um, you can add photos. So either one. And then you have a little spot right here which you could add some paper on top and put special measurements or anything that you want to put on there, okay? And then you have another large pocket on this side as well. You could double up and do, if you don't want to do photos or you just want to do one photo here, you could actually double up on the pockets. The measurements will be the same from here to here. So that is up to you. Um, so I just think it turned out really stinking adorable. So easy, you can do this in one day. And then again, I just mirrored the pockets in the back as well. Hi Donna, hi Jay, Joy, hi Daddy. Thank you Debbie. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started because we've got a lot to do. Um, let me move that out of the way. So first of all, I think I've just been so busy grocery shopping and filling out Christmas lists for kids and stuff that I got a little behind, guys. Okay. 
So we're going to start off with our chipboard, and you're going to need two pieces of cards, or no, chipboard, at six and a half by eight and a half inches, okay? So we'll need two of those. Mine is really thin. Um, if you want to make this more heavy duty, you can. But this is about the width of a cereal box. So, you know, it makes it pretty easy that you could use that as well. Um, and then you're going to need one for your spine at one and a half by eight and a half inches, okay? Then for our outside paper that we're going to cover this chipboard with, I used uh, two sheets of 12 by 12 paper, and it's going to be one at 10 and a half, 10 and a half by 12 inches, and then another one at six and a half by 10 and a half. Now I am, this is a little bit bigger than what you needed to, and we will cut it down a little bit. I just wanted to, oh, maybe this one isn't, but anyway, uh, we may cut it down a little bit slightly after we get done. Um, taping it together. Hi, Jean. So let me go ahead and get started with this. I'm going to move this out of the way real fast because I need all the space I can get. So I'm going to grab my half inch score tape and let me grab my little toy here. Okay. And I'm just going to line it up. And you know, I always use a mixture of glue and tape. It just makes it easier for me. And I'm gonna burnish this in real quick. Hold on, I need to grab my other one. I only use this one for scoring. I know, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and add our glue, but you don't have to do this. Okay. Hi, Thandar. All right. Sorry, guys. And then what I like to do is make sure it's straight. So I actually use the lines on my mat to line everything up correctly. Okay. And then I'm going to add this on here at that half inch. Okay. And then burnish it in. All right. One thing I like to do, and I'm going to make sure that this is really coming out. I have not crafted in two days. I'm, I feel like a slacker. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a strip of glue and I just rub it in. Okay, flip it over and I do the same thing. This just helps seal it a little bit. And then wipe it off. Okay, <clears throat> let me grab my little wipey here. I'm, two days isn't anything, girl. It feels like <laughs> the end of the world. I can't believe I'm not crafted in two days. It feels very weird. I'm always crafting. Okay, so now we're going to get our chipboard. And I want you to make sure that you keep your, and sometimes I mess up, guys, okay? <laughs> you don't really see those mess ups, but I do. All right. Um, what I am going to do, though, first, let me grab my scoreboard before I start yapping and scapping. I'm gonna go ahead and add a very light score line here at one inch, okay? And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side as well, okay? So one inch, I'm gonna turn this over and it should meet at one inch, okay? Just because it's so long, it's almost impossible. And I know it's really hard to see this with white, but this was the only 12 by 12 paper I have left at this time. So, okay, now, I know, I'm always messing up, Debbie, it's crazy. But I don't wanna let y'all see that part. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to put tape on the back of these, alrighty? Well, you could make your life easier. Hold on. We're going to make it real easy, okay? I'm going to put my tape, and this is two-inch double-sided sticky tape, and I love it, okay? 
because it makes my life simpler. So I'm going to line this up. Always the first piece is always the craziest for me because sometimes I get it crooked. All right. If you go over here, it's okay because we're going to be folding this right back up onto the chipboard. Okay. So I'm going to run this strip all the way along here. And we will see our score lines again once I lift up this tape. Okay. And by the way, if I miss any of your questions, I will try to get to them after the live show. Okay. We're going to just keep going along here. Isn't this a lot easier than using half inch tape the whole way? <laughs> I tell you, it makes your life easy speezy. And glue works really well too. I'm not going to say it doesn't. It's just um, sometimes the, the glue dries faster than I can um, work. So, okay. And then I'm going to lift up this one. Alrighty. And I'm going to get my half inch just to get this little last spot right here. Because I don't want to waste my two inch tape. Okay. Alright. Now I'm going to burnish these all in. Hershey. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to burnish this all in really good. And then continue to remove the tape. Hi, Bonnie. Oops. And I'm going to turn it back to the side where I have my score lines. All right. Hi, Kimberly. You know us Kims, we're good peeps. <laughs> okay, I'm almost done. I need to grow some nails here. I try to put the fake ones on, but then I can't do anything with fake nails on. I cannot craft at all with fake nails. I'm just not built that way. I need to feel what I'm doing. Okay. So now this is super sticky, guys. I'm going to move this tape out of the way. All right. And I can still see my score line that I made. I'm going to line this up again right along my mat here. And I'm going to go ahead and I got to stand up a second, guys, so I can make sure that I'm lining it up with this line up here. Okay. All right, good job. <laughs> I'm always happy when I don't screw it up, guys. Let me tell you. All right, I'm going to burnish that in real quick. I'm going to move kind of quickly here. I'm going to go ahead and add on my one and a half inch strip. And oops, move my hand out of the way. This is super sticky, guys. This is about one eighth inch, okay? So. It's up to you if you want to use this or something else. I'm telling you, this is super duper sticky. I'm going to line that up. And burnish it in. Okay, and then it's just easier for me to work this way. I'm going to flip it upside down. Oh, maybe I'm not. I'm lying. <laughs> Then I'm going to grab my other one, go ahead and put that there, here's my other piece, and I'm going to line it up, and put it down. I 
Awesome guys. Okay, so I can see that this is a little bit longer on the other hand on the other side, but I am not worried about that at all. Okay. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my corner piece right here and I'm going to put it at 1.125. Okay. And this is sticky guys, so be careful. I'm gonna use a pen. And I'm just going to draw some lines here, okay? And I make sure that I use that same 1.25 on all your corners. Otherwise, it's going to mess it up, okay? And my last one. Okay. Now I need to cut off my excess. I'm going to do that real quick. These are some cheap scissors from the Dollar Tree. And I got them over in the cooking section. They're my favorite, okay? So if I ruin these, it's not a big deal. I can just go buy another one. Okay, because, yeah, it's sticky all right. Okay. And then my last one. Hi, Renee. Okay. And I am going to cut off just a smidge. Well, not really a smidge. About an inch off this edge here. Got to love these scissors. <laughs> Maybe my Tim Holtz would have been a little bit better. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start working my edges okay i like to do that first before i officially put it down okay work it work it all right and go back to this side again and again you know me i'm a glue freak so i always make sure i use a little bit of glue right on top of that tape it's not a big deal but for us people in 100% humidity, it sure is a big deal and it makes a difference. Okay, so I'm just going to burnish that in. One thing I want you to do is gently, right here where you have that um, space right there, your 1 8 inch gap, I want you to go ahead and kind of press this in there lightly. Don't get too crazy. And then right here on the corners, you can push those in. Okay. And kind of mash it down. Push it in and mash it down. Same thing on your opposite side. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead again and push it over right on top here. And guys, I hate to tell you, but my kids are home today, so <laughs> I apologize if they make racket. I do my best, but they're still young teens. Okay. And then again, we're going to mush in that corner, push it in, and then mash it down. Okay. I know, right? Who's watching the turkey, Renee? <laughs> Thank goodness I'm not cooking the turkey. Um, I'm having it over at my parents. So they are making the turkey, and I am making the green bean casserole and the stuffing. So we'll see how that turns out. And uh, I think my kids might help make the pie later over at my mom's. So... I have Black Friday on my mind. That's what I have. I think that is always the parent's stress is Black Friday. So we're going to burnish this in really good. It's coming along really nice. Again, I'm going to do this side as well. And I like to always work it first. Okay, 
see how nice the corners are? I tried, okay, I'm going to be honest with you. Before I used to use the 0.25, and then I realized that that was just close to um, the edge. So I decided to go to the 0.125, and I found that that one really works. Okay, then I'm going to go back to this edge and, again, burnish these in a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and work on covering our inside, right? I don't know where that came from. So I have two sheets of cardstock, one at eight and three eighths by 11 inches long, and one at eight and three eighths inches by five inches, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this right on top of here so that I can just make sure I measure this right. Let me grab my half inch tape again, because you know, we're gonna buddy these up. Oh, Bonnie, you're lucky. You get extra, extra dinner. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna burnish this in real quick. All right, and let me see something real fast. I'm going to check this twice, but <clears throat> yeah, I'm a little too far over. Okay, let me go ahead and tape this down. Remember we said this was five inches. I think it's about a half inch over, but we're going to check it out. I always like to go over rather than under because then you'll have to recut it and you don't want to do that. Okay. All right, here we go. Again, I like to use my lines here. Just keep it straight. And if you have any tape sticking over the edges, flip it back up onto the paper. Okay, sorry, just feel on this real quick. <laughs> and then burnish it in. And I'm going to do that same thing that I like to do with the glue. Just kind of like to seal the edge. Okay. And it dries clear. So that turns out okay. Again. Oops. Rub that in. Okay. So now I'm going to line this up again. And remember, never have these stuck over here okay this is where I've made the mistake before and I accidentally had my seam you know where I need my binding and that's not good so I'm going to leave about a sixteenth of an inch right here on the edge and I'm going to make a little mark with a pencil or a pen or something <laughs> here we'll use this one okay and again I'm going to go in about eighth of an inch from the edge and then I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. Okay, so now you know what, I see just a tiny hair of that marker so I'm going to get that off of there. Uh-oh, guys, are you still there? <laughs> Give me a hard tub if you're still there because I cannot, for some reason, I don't see you guys. And that is really weird. Oh, um, this yellow thing is called the Perfect Trim Ruler. And you can find it at perfecttrimruler.com. Okay, thank you guys. I appreciate that. See on my phone? My phone is blank. Isn't that crazy? And then on my computer, I see no comments. <laughs> Just don't get it. Uh, okay. Let me um, get out my tape again. My two-inch tape. Just makes my life simpler. I'm going to go ahead and tape all along here.
and I'm going to line that up. This one I got to be a little more uh, careful that I have it lined up properly because if I don't, um, you might have some crazy stuff hanging out over. You don't want that. Okay. Oops. This thing is huge, right? I mean, come on now. This is a big thing of tape, but it makes my life simpler. Okay. Here we go. And bam. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that I did last time. I'm going to burnish this in real quick. I'm going to get these scissors out of my way. Okay. And use my half inch for this little edge here. And burnish that in. Okay. Now I'm just going to peel the backing off. You know, I heard that, you know, Facebook um, and Instagram and all of them were having issues the other day because um, they said it on the news. So I guess it's, I guess it's real if they said it's on the news. I don't really know, but I was not really on Facebook the last couple days, so I don't know. Okay, just gonna push this back over the edge. But I do know that my phone's been acting cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and line this up before I push it down all the way. Now, this is always the scary part, guys. It's always so scary. And then going to burnish that baby in really good okay because what happens is if you don't do that you will have bubbling and you do not want any bubbling at all okay and I forgot to use glue guys you didn't warn me <laughs> I usually use a little bit of glue I hope I don't have any issues with this particular book Okay, so now I can see where I did my impressions and I'm going to start gently lifting and pushing down in here very lightly and I'm kind of working it up. All right, that is side one. Okay, and then side two, I'm going to do the same thing. I see my little impression down there and I'm going to gently rock it up and it looks like I didn't have any problems yay Whew. hi Delilah the video won't play yes there will be a video replay and I will also have it on their um, photo play page as well okay which is on YouTube so you'll have to give me I'll probably have it up by Friday okay I normally would have it up tomorrow, but tomorrow I'm going to be with the Familia. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea, Bonnie. There is a way to save the videos, too. Okay, so now we have this all done, and this is always the hardest part, I think, in my mind. Okay, and the next thing we're going to work on is our two inside pages, and let me grab, there it is. We're going to be working on these two pockets, okay? So we're going to work on the left on the inner cover and on the back cover, the right hand side, okay? And they're gonna be mirror images of each other, okay? And these little corner pockets um, are a little bit of a pain in the booty, but I like the way they look. So, 
we will go ahead and get started with that. One of them I already did. You will need two sheets of solid colored cardstock, okay, at seven and three eighths by seven and a half, okay. Now this is gonna be the weird thing, all right? You just gotta trust me on this one. What you're gonna do is you're gonna score at a half inch, okay? And this is on your seven and three eighth inch side, at a half inch and then at six and seven eighths, okay? You are not going to make a, a score line at the bottom. You're gonna leave that open, okay? So, but what I want you to do is, on this one, what I did is I made a tick mark with a pen, or actually I used a pencil and for some odd reason my pencil disappeared. So here's my pen. Okay, sorry. Um, at two and a half inches, I made a tick mark, okay? And then I turned my paper counterclockwise one time. And then again, I don't know why it is not at two and a half. That's weird. Anyway, this should have been, oh, it is. Sorry, I made another tick mark at two and a half inches, okay? So this is going to be for the left side pocket on your front, okay? So this is what you're gonna have to pay attention to. Now, I made a exact pocket page the same size. So what I did was, is I'm flipping it over, okay? And this is how I'm going to get my mirror going this way, okay? I again made my mark at two and a half inches and then two and a half inches. Okay, so two and a half inches and then counterclockwise one time and two and a half inches. I'm going to grab my cutter and I'm going to go ahead and cut on that score line. Okay, and then now when I fold on my score lines, this will be the opposite page. So now you have this and this. Yay! Okay. <laughs> so hopefully this is making sense to you guys. We're going to move on to the next piece. And this is going to be the pocket that will go on top of this one. All right. This one, you're going to need two of these as well. And there's no trickery on these, okay? This is, again, seven and three eighths by five inches, okay? On the five inch side, you're gonna score at a half inch. And we're gonna go back to the seven and three eighth inch side and you're going to score at a half inch and six and seven eighths, okay? And then, and I marked this A and B because when I'm making my um, pattern paper that goes on top, you know how sometimes if you make this little indention in the middle, occasionally it's a little bit different than the other one. I don't know why that is, but I try to measure it up at the same spot every time, but sometimes it gets a little weirdo, and that's why I do that. So you'll see in a few minutes once we get to that part. So I'm going to grab my, not using half inch, I'm going to use quarter inch, okay? Use my quarter inch score tape. If I can find my little thing here. Hi, Crystal. Um, how do you save the video? So once the video is over and it's already processed, there will be, uh, when you click on it, you will see three little dots up in the right hand corner of the screen and you will click on those. Okay. And then that should give you the option. You'll right click on it. Um, I'm not sure if you have a Mac, what you do, but I'm pretty sure it's close to the same. You will hit save video. Okay. You grab my scissors and what I like to do is so I can really see my little corners right here. I like to flip it over because the tape kind of masks that. I'm just going to go ahead and cut right up there to my score lines. All right. Okay. And that's how it's going to look. Now you're going to do one more thing on this side. You're going to flip it over. You're going to add a little more tape right down here at the bottom. Alrighty. Okay. And then I'm going to grab this pocket right here and I'm going to do the same thing with the tape. Okay. 
Oh, and in case I didn't tell you, did I tell you what your center is? Where is that little pocket? That's weird. Why would I not tell you that? Oh, sorry. The center of this pocket right here is three and five eighths, okay? And that's only if you want to make that indention. If you don't want to, you don't have to. So I apologize, I didn't give that to you earlier. Okay, so now we have our little wings here. I'm gonna trim off this. I'm gonna move that up a little bit. Kind of like a really long angle. And I'm gonna grab my Oh, well, that's just crazy. Okay. I have no idea. All right. Anyway, I'm going to, um, oh, it's under here. Duh, guys. All right. Let me grab my little pocket right here. I'm going to go ahead and fold on my score lines. Okay. Whoops. Whoa. Went a little crazy on that one. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see where we put the tape on the inside of this pocket page. I'm going to go ahead and remove that tape. All right, and I'm going to put these together, but I like to use a little bit of glue. I'm going to use the glue all the way on this half inch strip. All right. I'm going to line this up underneath here. It's easier to flip it over and, and look at it upside down, okay? And I'm just going to line it up to that score line and press down, all right? Okay. Now, for my pattern cardstock, I normally wait till the end to do this, but I want to go ahead and give this to you now. You have a couple options. You can use all the paper all the way down, or you can shorten it. And I end up shortening mine so that I'm able to use more cardstock in other places. All right, so this is going to be four inches by six and one eighth. So you would actually need two of these if you're going to do it at this particular measurement. Um, and then, but you'll mirror it on the opposite side, okay? So I'm not going to ink mine. I'm just going to center this in here. The indention is for what, please? Thank you, Monica. The indention on the page. Oh, this is a pocket. I just think that they make it easier to pull the cards in and out. I don't know if that's the case because you could go like this with your thumb and pull it out. But it's up to you. You don't have to have it there. It's just a, a little decorative thing. And these papers are so stinking cute. I'm telling you. I love any kind of recipe paper, but I love, love the country theme of this collection. I love the vintage plates. Isn't that just cute? Just adorable. So I just line that up there. Okay. And then now I can go ahead and place this down. All right. So I'm going to take the backing off. And again, I go glue crazy every time. All right. I can see a little bit of my tape went over the edge, so I'm going to push it back onto the paper. And then I'm going to press down. All right. And burnish that in. You want to make sure you didn't get any excess glue. Okay. So now I'm going to move this up here. All right. And I know this is crazy, 
but I just think that it works better this way for this pocket. It's up to you. You can double this pocket up and do that half inch down at the bottom of both pockets, but then you have a lot of bulk that you don't necessarily need, okay? I'm going to pull these off. All right. I've got a lot of uh, fibers running around in here. Okay, I'm just going to add my glue. Okay, and one more time. And then I don't know. Was she? I don't know. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this up here. I want you to keep it over to the left hand side. Do not get this stuck inside your gusset. Okay. You don't want to do that. So just line it up closer to your edge. All right. Okay. And then we're going to burnish this in. Okay, and down at the bottom. Okay, so remember I was talking about this A, and what does that mean? I cut my cardstock already for that, if I can find it. <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay, Whew, sometimes I'm a little delirious. All right. I'm gonna grab one of these. Hi, Julie. All right. So for this piece, you're going to need it at six and a quarter by four and three eighths, okay? And then how I found my center for this particular one is I just fold it over, make a tiny little bend, and then pinch it, okay? And so that makes it pretty easy. But another thing you can do is if you don't trust yourself, okay, because sometimes I mess up. What you want to do is grab a pencil or a pen, preferably a pencil. So let's just say I didn't have this indention here yet. All right, I would move it down, line it up where I would glue it down, and then I would find my center this way. So this is probably the better way to do it instead of folding it over because like I said it's not always perfect and that's why I had to match A with A because I just looked at them both and I said hmm I wonder which one looks better than the other and this is how it turned out but anyway so here we go oh it's cold yes girl it's definitely cold in Canada Hi guys, I am back. So I'm gonna wait just a minute for everybody to pop on in. I apologize for that. It just blanked out. I have no idea what happened. Hi guys, I apologize for that. I don't know what's going on. Facebook must have not liked what I had to say earlier. <laughs> Uh, I know. Sorry, guys. I am so sorry. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I can finally see a picture this time. What a miracle. Poof, I know. It was crazy. I don't even know what happened, but we're going to go ahead and continue on. Okay, so we're going to work with our opposite side, okay? We're going to wait another second for people to pop on in, but since we already did our right side, I feel pretty confident that y'all can do the left. Um, but what I do want to do real quickly is create my piece that's going to go under here. Okay. And I think I remember what I said. This was six and one eighth. Okay. So I'm going to do this real fast before I forget. Six and one eighth. And at this point, I'm just going to leave my length. I don't even care. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do, 
I know this is kind of crazy, but this is how it worked for me earlier and hopefully it will help you. So what I did was, because remember, we want to have this going this way to the left, okay? And I'm going to line this up where I would normally have it, okay? And then I'm going to lie this down. I know this is cray cray, but I don't know what else how else to make it work right because I tried several different ways and this is the one that worked best for me but whatever you think works for you okay now I'm going to go ahead and cut that and you know what I can't even see <laughs> that hold on guys let me grab a better I don't know where my pencil went that's so weird oh there it is hello let's do this again Okay, one more time guys one more time okay I'm gonna line this up flip it over okay and draw my line oops okay and erase my little mess up there yes and I'm back all right, so I'm gonna line this up to where my line is, okay? But what I'm gonna do is I wanna move it over just a slight smidge to my right because I don't want it lined up exactly where I had it, okay? I just want to get the angle correct, all right? And then I'm gonna take that off. And hopefully this is right, all right? You just double check and it is Woo! oh my goodness I was sweating that one out guys <laughs> oh, you know everything's always got to go wrong when I'm live okay New York City hi Ro okay sorry I don't know what is My little glue got stuck. I waited too long. All right, here we go. Okay, guys, I know I'm taking forever, so I'm just going to keep trying to move along here. I'm going to center this to where I want it and press it down. Again, I'm going to grab that other pocket again. I'm going to go ahead and add my tape. Okay. Let me move my little wipe the other way. Oh, this glue is called Art Glitter Glue Designer Dries Clear Adhesive. And I think you can actually get it from the company Art Glitter Glue. And then I'm going to turn the pocket over again and add my tape on the inside as well. Of course, normally you would not do this, but for this particular one, we are. I'm going to go ahead and trim off these little edges so that it folds nicely. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to fold on my score lines and burnish it in. Okay, I'm going to grab my pocket again and I'm going to flip that over, okay? Sorry, I know I like doing mine upside down. I'm a weirdo. I'm going to line these up just underneath that score line and try to make it as straight as possible. And I'm going to add that glue, okay? All right, now I'm gonna go grab my thing right here again and we're gonna go ahead and, oops, I forgot to put my tape on here, guys. Hello, let me grab that real quick. 
put in my little flappies here. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, burnish it in. Really good. And I'm going to trim off my excess tape, okay? There we go. Go ahead and pull off my backing. And then my backing that's on this back pocket. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and add my glue. Okay, right there at that half inch, and here on this flap. Okay, guys. And I have not glued this part down yet, but again, I'm going to go over to the right hand side. Remember to keep it away from your gusset, all right? And I'm going to line it up to my bottom and to my right. And now I can burnish it in. It's real good. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my other pocket. Um, paper page again and go ahead and add my glue and seal this down now that it's ready to go okay all righty and just press it down and burnish Okay, so again, this is going to mirror the same measurement over here that I gave earlier. And it looks like I need to trim it just a smidge. Apparently I went over just a tad. So I'm going to take off the 16th of an inch. Let's see if that looks okay. Oops. All right. And that works. I think I might do just another smudge. I apologize, guys. All right. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Okay. I'm going to burnish that in. Okay. <clears throat> I will paper this part, but I'm going to wait till the end to do that because I want to keep moving on. Okay. So we're going to start working on our pages now and they are so easy. You're not going to believe it. All right. We're going to start off with the base pages. You're going to need three <clears throat> at, sorry, I'm going to go, it's going to be eight and a quarter. So I took off a little smidge right here from the eight and a half, right? Because your paper would be eight and a half by 11. So eight and a quarter by 11 inches. So I kept the 11 inches the same. Um, I score at, oops. Hold on, guys. I'm making a hot mess. Okay. I'm going to score on my 11 inch side of the half inch. Okay. And then this is where I changed it for my original book. Um, I made it a little bit bigger. Okay. So this is going to be six and three quarters. All right. And then I'm going to fold on my score lines. Okay. Oh, I, I messed up, guys. Hold on. 
All right, let's do this again. On the 11 inch side, this is correct, but I start off at a half inch, okay? Then I flip it over, okay? And then score at six and three quarters, okay? You don't have to do this. I, there's just a certain way I like to have my paper folded, okay? So that is up to you. What trimmer am I using? This is the Martha Stewart paper trimmer, and I love it, okay? So I'm gonna fold there, right? And then it's gonna go back this way. Now this is up to you. Um, you can use magnets here, and I would probably use a large one, okay? Just because of the size of the length of this, okay? Or you could do two smaller ones, it's up to you. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to strictly keep with the um, paper clips, okay? So you'll have three of those, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and continue on, but let me add my tape first. Okay, I'm gonna fold it there. All right, and then last but not least, this one, okay? All right, so now I'm just again, I'm gonna fold on my score lines and burnish those in. Make sure they're not crooked. This is very easy, Bonnie. That's why I love this. I, I made this in only a couple of hours, and that was with me writing all the measurements down and everything, okay? So this is pretty easy speasy, and that's what I love about it. So you have three of these. Now we're gonna grab our book again, all right? We're going to center these, all right? I put it so snug that you really can't mess it up, all right? You're going to go about a eighth of an inch from this end of your brown paper, okay, or whatever paper you're going to use. Um, and that's why I like using the different color paper on the inside is so that I can see where this goes, all right? Sorry, my hands are full of glue. I apologize. Um, one thing I do want to do is, again, cut off my excess tape so I don't have it sticking out. All right. <clears throat> So I'm going to, again, add my glue. And the glue always helps in case I screw up, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna center this. Let me turn it this way, all right? So I can kind of see what I'm doing. And what I'm gonna do is get it about a sixteenth of an inch away from this gusset, okay? And I'm gonna center it. Make sure that looks right. Move that back a little bit, all right. So now it is not inside my gusset. And we've got it nice and straight. So the first one is always the hardest, and then after that, you can just align them to that, okay? So I'm gonna grab my second piece. I'm gonna do the same thing. Again, I'm gonna line it up right, hold on, right with this one, okay? And press down. All right. Keeping it lined up nice and straight. My last one. And so this will just lie right on top of that like that. Here we go. Now, if you feel more comfortable making a hinge system for this, you can. But um, I think that these, the way they're designed, it's sturdy enough. 
but that is up to you. All right, I lined it up again. And I haven't tried it yet, but this is just a thought here, okay? I might be crazy, but if you wanted to make an additional page, you could, instead of scoring this at that half inch, you could do it at a quarter inch, all right? And you should be able to add one more page to this so you'd have four instead of three. Okay, so we're gonna keep on moving along here, guys, and we're going to add our pocket that goes right here. And I apologize, like I said, see these long guys? They had all day to mow over by my house. <laughs> and here they are. Okay, so you're going to need three pockets at five and a quarter by four and a half. And on your five and a quarter inch side, you're gonna score at a half inch and at four and three quarters you're going to turn it counterclockwise one time and score it at a half inch for your center okay your center if you want to do this little pocket indention is at two and five eighths okay and then let me grab my tape here real quick not that one another one there it is I noticed that when I ordered the half inch tape, um, it was a little bit longer than, I mean, a little bit wider than a half inch. So now I just use quarter inch, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and line that up there. Oops, let me go a little further. Okay. And then we're gonna burnish that in. I'm going to flip it over again, and then I'm going to cut diagonally right there at that score line. Don't go um, in front of that score line, all right, or you're going to um, cut into your actual pocket. Hi, Linda. Hi, Rosanna. Okay. So now I should be able to push this down. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach the bottom of this right now to the bottom of my front page, all right? And then when I add my paper on at the top, I'll go ahead and um, put the rest of the flaps down, okay? I'm gonna line this up just about a sixteenth of an inch, I mean, a hair line from this bottom right here, okay? And then burnish it in. And if you have any glue hanging off and going crazy, wipe it off, okay? I'm gonna grab a little paper clip and keep that down for the moment, okay? So it's not in my way. And I wanna continue on, okay? Uh -oh. Alrighty, just continue making my pockets here. Yes, it's chilly here too, Debbie. I was wondering if Texas was warming up a little bit, but I guess not. Again, cutting down here, right there at that score line, making an angle. I mean, I can't really say our chili is anything really, but for us, you know, uh, if you're walking outside and it's windy, you're gonna need a little jacket. But anyway, it's not that bad. Okay, so, you know what? I do wanna trim this just a little bit more. Just a smidge. Okay. And again, I'm just gonna line it up at the bottom. 
Okay. Gonna center this, leave a sixteenth of an inch, and grab another paper clip, and we're down to our last page. I am so sorry, guys. Hopefully, you'll find me again. I don't know what is the deal today. I've never had this many issues. Hi guys, I apologize. I really don't know what, I don't know if it's Facebook. It's not my internet because my internet is working fine. Um, so I think it's Facebook. Maybe they did not fix their problems the other day. I don't know. Okay. Let me get on in here. Oh my word. Can we get done with this video? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, anyway. I'm going to go ahead and work on this last little small pocket. And I just can't believe the nightmares, guys. This is crazy today. I mean, I've had to go out maybe once before, but this is my third time starting back on. That's insane. All right, I'm going to trim off my excess tape here. Burnish that in really good. Cut off my little edges. All right, and then we're going to fold on our score lines and burnish in. Well, at least we got 13 people back so far. So sorry, guys. Again, I'm just going to attach the bottom and not fully attach this yet all right again I'm leaving that little hair I'm centering it and leaving that sixteenth of an inch down there from the bottom burnish that in and I'm going to grab another paper clip okay now this is coming along so cute what I do want to start on, you know, before my video goes out again, is your your last pocket that's going to go on the back of here, okay? And again, like I said, you could do this and add another pocket here if you want to. That's completely up to you, all right? Just depends on if you want to add photos or not. Um, you're going to need three at seven and one eighth by five inches long. All right, and again, your center for this one is going to be three and five eighths. Okay, so again, seven and one eighth by five inches, and then your center is three and five eighths. So I'm going to score on the seven and one eighth inch side at one and a half inch, and then at six and three eighths. No. Six and five eighths. I apologize. Six and five eighths. I'm going to turn it counterclockwise one time. That's to the five inch side, and I'm going to score it at a half inch. Okay, so you will have three identical like that. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing like I did before. I'm going to attach the bottom. All right. And not the sides. I don't want to fully engage that yet. Okay. Keep on adding my tape. All right. One more. All 
Hi, Jody. Yes, I totally love photo play. Oops, sorry. Okay. Again, we're going to go ahead and cut on that score line. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do that to all three right now before I forget. <laughs> One more time. I was actually going to go live tomorrow, and then I was like, oh, I can't do that. It's Thanksgiving. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So here we go. Let me go to my first page to the back. Let me take off my little paper clip. And I'm going to fold on all my score lines and burnish it in. I'm going to take off my bottom piece. Oops. And add my glue. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want this centered, but I don't want you to keep it too close to the gusset, all right? Or the page will not close properly. So I'm going to keep it further over to the left side. Again, I'm going to leave a hair of an inch, a sixteenth of an inch, and then press down, okay? And once I put my designer cardstock, I will then um, take these off and lay this down, okay? And again, I'm going to go ahead and add this here, my paper clip and work on the next page. It kicked off again. Can y'all see me? <laughs> if you can, give me some hearts. I'm not sure if it's Bonnie's or mine. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add my glue. Oh, you can see me? Okay, good. All right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing. Keep it closer to the left. And again, a sixteenth of an inch from the bottom. All right. And see, always wipe off your excess glue if you're using glue because then you'll tape your pocket shut. And then that will be no fun. <laughs> okay. Our last one. Let me grab this here. Hi, Giselle. We are making a recipe album. And um, we will have this uploaded on our Facebook page for photo play um, by Friday, okay? So in case you've missed it today and you want it all in one piece <laughs> because the internet has been acting crazy today and we've had to start over three times. So um we'll have that up on youtube for you and i will post the link underneath these videos um t uh, friday sorry so again i'm going to line this up same thing 16th of an inch from the bottom and a slight hair from your left hand side you just don't ever want to go into your gusset especially with pockets okay And I'm going to burnish that in. Oh, no problem. I tell you what, I don't know why it's messing up so bad, but thank you so much, Giselle. Okay, so before we get kicked off again like crazy, um, I am going to borrow this one from the front because we'll move back, all right? 
So back to our pattern paper. All right, and I didn't get a chance to cut all my pieces, but you're going to need three of these for your uh, pockets. And I mine are measured at four and one eighth inch by three and three quarters, okay? Actually, it looks a little hair longer than that. Why is that? I apologize, guys. Yeah, three and three quarters. Okay, sorry. And then what I did to find my center is the same thing. Um, it's best to line it up and then make a mark, okay? And then go ahead and use your hole punch, all right? Because trying to guess it mathematically, it doesn't always work. I don't know why, but it just doesn't. Let me see if I like this one here. I like. I'm gonna use this one over here. There we go. So I'm just gonna glue this down. And center it in there. Wipe off any excess glue. And we're just going to keep moving on to this one. All right. And since I don't have a decided color for this, I think I'll pick this one. All right. Okay. And I'm going to center this. This glue is called Art Glitter Glue. Um, Art Glitter Designer Dries Clear Adhesive. And you can find that at artglitter.com. All right, my last one. Okay. Oops, I definitely didn't put enough glue right there. Alrighty, just burnish that in. Okay, so now what I wanna do is work on our um, inside page right here, okay? You're going to need six of these. So you're gonna need one for here and one for here as well. And remember, if you want to, this is only if you want to, you don't have to have, uh, well, I'll show you in a second. Let me just go with this for now. Um, so this measurement is six and one eighth by eight and one eighth but there's one thing i want you guys to do and i'm going to go ahead and do this now before i forget i want you to go ahead and remove about a sixteenth of an inch okay if you move if you do an eighth of an inch it's too long so for three of these i'm going to do that right now okay all right And that looks good. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. All righty. And I'm going to burnish that in.
And if you like using tape, you know, it's completely up to you. All right. Miss my little corner there. I'm going to continue on. And I always like to, <laughs> to check out my page that's going to go on top to make sure that my patterns make sense because although these all really go well together so it really doesn't matter but sometimes I'm just strange like that all right let me move this over a little bit this is exactly why I like glue it's because I can change my mind instantly okay And I'm going to do the plates. Wait a second. Did I do the plates earlier? No. I don't know why I thought I did. Hi, Barb. Alrighty. Okay, we're going to burnish this in. Okay. Now, I'm not going to finish covering every page uh, live because then we'll be here for another hour. But I am going to give you some of the measurements. Okay. Oh, here's my wrong piece. Okay. So, for instance, our inside page right here, we know that this is eight and a quarter inches long. Okay. And, whoops, I'm making a mess. This should be four and a quarter. Okay. So, I'm going to take it to, again, we said this one was eight and one eighth. All right. So I'm going to cut this to eight and one eighth, and these are my leftovers. All right. Now I just make sure I'm right. Yes, it is. Okay. I don't know why I don't trust myself. Eight and one eighth. Okay. And we said four and a quarter, so I'm going to make it four and one eighth. And I may have to take off a slight hair, but let me measure this off first. Because I know I took off a slight. Oh, what did I do? I'm not. Ah, okay. This is the one thing about this cutter that kills me, all right? I'm going to have to fix this. Um, if you don't pull it out all the way, you can accidentally cut your thing too short. So, yeah, this is way off. So, hold on, guys. I am going to go ahead and... Um, glue this on here, but the measurement is right. It is four and one eighth by eight and one eighth. Okay, and then I will fix this up later on. I'm not sure. I might just add another pocket to this page since I did a little boo boo. All right. Okay, so that would be that piece. And then for the outside, we're going to work on the outside cover real quick, okay? Because I have that right here in my hands. All right. <clears throat> You're going to need two pieces at six and three eighths by eight and three eighths okay so six and three eighths by eight and three eighths and then you'll need one and eight and three eighths by uh one and three eighths okay 
So I'm going to go ahead and put my spine on first. I just love this page with the spoons and the spatula. So cute. Now you can make this whole album with one paper pack and you'll still have some leftovers to make some cards. So I can tell you that much. All right, center that and burnish it in. And then we're going to work on our outside. And then your inside is going to be, well, I'll give that to you in a minute. Let me just finish covering this. <laughs> Can you all tell I'm getting ADD? Just playing. All right. Add my glue. And I'm going to center this. Looks good. And I'm going to burnish that in. And if I'm missing any glue, that's why I love this little metal tip on here. You can slide it in there. All right. All right, let's do the back side. Okay. So I think that this recipe album will be perfect for crafters. You don't even have to specifically make this um, with a recipe paper, you know, it's just super cute on its own. And you could use it with the Frosty Friends or any of the photo play paper collections. All right. Now for the inside, again, remember I said that you could split this paper up, okay? So for our pocket down here, this is four and a half inches, so I'm going to make it four and three eighths. All right, and we're gonna keep that same um, width measurement, six and one eighth, okay? So we're gonna make it four and three eighths, which is just under the half. Let me just double check again, make sure I'm not losing my mind. Yes. <laughs> All right. And then, oops. let me grab this out too. All right, hold on. I'm going to need my hole punch here. Let me make sure this makes sense. Yes, it does. And you know what, guys? I lied. For the pocket, it is not six and one eighth. You're going to need to take off an eighth of an inch. So it's going to be six inches. Now the back is, the back piece is six and one eighth. I apologize. I forgot I always make the pockets a smidge smaller. All right, so you know your center of this is going to be three inches, but I don't trust it. So I'm going to line up this. And I'm going to make a little mark at my center, okay? And we'll see if it lines up properly. Oh, well, it worked. Three inches. You never know. Just saying. <laughs> All right. So we have that one. I'm going to go ahead and glue it on here. Okay, just go 
going to line that up. And you know what? It's a little bit off. I don't know why, but it is. That's okay. I'm going to burnish that in. Now, for my pocket measurement, I need to measure all the way down to this little indention here. All right, so I'm going to go about a eighth of an inch. So it's perfect at four inches. So let's see if our leftover piece that one is not going to be big enough, so I might be able to use this for something else. But let me grab, let me see here. Okay. Six and one eighth. And since I have an, a long enough piece, I'm just going to go for and a quarter. Alrighty. And that should be perfect. I'm going to take off another smidge. About a sixteenth of an inch. Alrighty. And then once I add this down, we will be able to take the tape off the pocket. All right. I'm going to turn this upside up. Burnish that in really well. Okay. And then now I can go ahead and remove my backing. and place it down, okay? Okay, guys. So for this measurement, we said this one is going to be four and one eighth. All right, bye, and we wanna make sure we go all the way down and match this pocket four and a half. So let's go four and a half by four and one eight. Four and one eight, four and a half. Oh, that is so awesome. Congratulations, Bonnie. You definitely deserve it. That is going to be so awesome. Are you going to be doing live shows? So I'm going to go ahead and go down about an eighth of an inch, okay, from the top. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this down, okay, and then burnish it in. And now we can finally remove these backings. And I can see this sticking up a little bit. Okay. Now I can go ahead and glue this down. Okie dokie. And then just press down. Now, if you don't like leaving these naked, okay, this one we said was, 
this is a half inch, right? But we don't want to go exactly half inch. So I'm going to, you could either do three eighths an inch. Um, I'm going to go with a quarter inch, okay? I don't want to have any issues of the pages not um, turning, okay? So it would be eight and one eighth by a quarter inch. And I have just a little piece right here that I can use. Let's see, do we want to do that? No, I think that looks better, even though that matches with that. Guys, I lied. Hold on, let me see something else. Should we do that? No. Okay, I'll just go with the chickens, although that wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do a quarter of an inch. Okay, quarter of an inch. I don't know why that looks like a half. There we go. Oops. I know I'm acting weird. I apologize. I'm not trying to. Just something didn't feel right. Okay. Quarter of an inch by eight and one eighth. You'll need three of those. In fact, not eight and one eighth, make it eight inches. Quarter of an inch by eight. And this is only if you like covering these. It doesn't really, some people don't cover up their hinges. I just like it. Okay. And center that and burnish it in. Okay, guys, one more measurement. It's going to be this one, which is your back right here. So it's going to be six and a quarter by, let me see, six and a quarter by three and a half. Let me see what I've got here. Ooh, nice. Well, that works. I'm still here. I tell you, this is a long one today, huh, guys? Okay. But this is our last measurement, and then I will have this for you up on our YouTube Friday, okay, guys? So this kind of fits right in here nice and snug, and to me, I don't know what it is, but this looks crooked. So I'm going to turn it this way and see if that helps. Okay, I don't know. I'm going to take off the smidge, guys. Once I put the glue on, I don't want to have any issues of this um, not fitting in here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put all my glue kind of heavy so that it slides in very easily. All right. And boom. There it is. Okay, so that's your final measurement. So I will see you all again very soon. Don't forget that your I just love these pre-made cards here but let me show you so before when I made this measurement you could not turn this card this way okay and so I should have fixed that issue with this one all right so let's see yep it fits so I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous Thanksgiving and if you 
make one of these, don't forget to hashtag photo play paper in it. We would love to see it. And I'm definitely sure that Lori will post it on our page. So I can't wait to see what y'all create. Hope you guys have, again, a wonderful and safe Thanksgiving. Bye, y'all.